Ladies and gentlemen, Chainsaw Man is officially getting a manga box set in English, but believe it or not, a lot of people are very disappointed with this news. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Promji. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now today, what we're going to be talking about is the brand new, recently announced Chainsaw Man manga box set from Books A Million. People in the manga community and diehard fans of Chainsaw Man, and also people who want to get into the series for a good price, have been begging and patiently waiting for an official box set in English of Chainsaw Man. But now that one is officially up for pre-order, there is a lot of controversy surrounding this box set. A lot of people saying it's just a cash grab and, you know, preying on people who are willing to spend a lot of money to double dip on series. We got a whole lot to discuss in today's video, so I hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys do, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more manga videos just like this. Make sure to go down in the comments below and leave your personal opinion on what you think about this Chainsaw Man Books Million manga box. I know some people think it looks awesome and some people think this is just a very disappointing and bad idea so leave your comments down below with your thoughts on this box set. But with all that being said without any further ado let's get right into the video. All right so a couple days ago from when I'm recording this video Books Million actually came out and announced their Chainsaw Man manga box that was available for pre-order. Now if you go on the website you'll see this box set is available for pre-order at the price point of I believe $39.96 and what you're getting in this box set is the first four volumes of Chainsaw Man in a double-sided poster as well as the box itself. Now, I'm not even going to lie. I've seen a lot of people, you know, saying this box looks like trash or like they just pulled it straight off of Google Images. Personally, I think that this box actually looks kind of sick. Like if they do multiples of these, I can see how these would line up on the shelf and look pretty clean. But besides from how the box looks, there is a glaring issue that a lot of people are taking issue with. And that is obviously that this manga box set only contains a measly four volumes of this 11 volume series, which some people think is just pointless and stupid. Now, this isn't the first time that we've seen manga publishers put out these four volume box sets. We've seen it with series like Attack on Titan from Kodansha. I believe Rent a Girlfriend also had a similar amount of volumes. But for a Viz Media series, having four volumes, especially for a very short series at only 11 volumes, just seems a little bit odd. Now, one thing I will make a distinction about is that this is not like officially a Viz Media box set. This is a Books A Million thing, so all of this falls on their shoulders. In recent times, we've seen Books A Million do these exclusive cover variants for a series like Attack on Titan, Nagatoro, there's also one for Wotukoi, I believe, which went for like insane resale value, which is mind blowing. And I'm sure that the success of these variant volumes, you know, sales wise and aftermarket wise, such as the case with these Wotukoi volumes, definitely turned some heads with the execs at Books A Million. And they probably realized that this was a golden opportunity to start pumping out even more manga exclusives that are gonna sell really well, have manga consumers double dip and overall just generate a ton of profit. But it seems that with the announcement of this Chainsaw Man manga box set, that some people are starting to take issue with this influx of variant covers and variant products for existing things that are already out in the market. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is the decision to only release four volumes in this box set. Now, obviously as consumers, we would have much preferred to just have, you know, a full 11 volume run of part one of Chainsaw Man come out in a box set that's like a very appropriate number of volumes for a box set, but of course they've decided to go with a smaller number. So yeah, from a consumer standpoint, this is a pretty pointless thing to just have, you know, a box set with four volumes in it when a lot of people already have the entire completed series. So I know a lot of people will not be picking this up because of that reason, but from Books A Million standpoint, you know, they know that still a lot of people are going to buy this. Whether it be people who are looking to collect the Chainsaw Man manga for the first time, you know, they haven't been able to get the volumes that have been out of stock, or they just want to get in on the manga after all this hype that has been building surrounding Chainsaw Man given the anime season that's going to come out here pretty soon, as well as collectors who just really like Chainsaw Man and want to have some special edition variant, you know, version of these volumes. So from a business standpoint, I personally think it does make some sense to release these box sets with only four volumes because, you know, people are going to keep buying these as I'm assuming that they'll release the rest of these volumes in similar box set formats as time goes on. And now I kind of want to talk about this whole thing about variant covers and manga volumes that we've been seeing more and more frequently 
in the manga community as of late. You know, I'd say this past year or two, we've seen them popping up a lot more frequently than we did in the past. Recently, East Coast Manga made a video talking about these variant manga volumes and covers and how I guess the Tokyo Avengers one specifically was like lower quality than usual or just kind of a bad release. Now, personally, I don't really have an issue with exclusive volumes or variant covers on manga volumes. In fact, I actually have a few in my collection. I have the Books A Million Nagatora Volume 1. I also have the San Diego Comic Con Volume 1 of One Punch Man and the Loot Crate Edition of Volume 1. You know, they have some different covers, some different spines, and overall, I just think that they're really cool collector's items for collectors of series who want to, you know, go above and beyond in their collection and have some special mementos for the favorite series. However, the problem is that as more and more of these exclusive volume variants start coming out, the less and less special they will become. I mean, take the San Diego Comic-Con Volume 1, you know, only people at that event could get that volume. As far as I know, the Loot Crate edition, you know, you had to actually buy and subscribe to Loot Crate to get that Volume 1. And what we're seeing with these new variant volumes that are coming out specifically from places like Books A Million is that basically anybody can get their hands on them as long as you beat the scalpers who are selling them for crazy high prices. But basically anybody has access to these volumes. So while they still are cool mementos, they don't really have that same feeling of exclusivity or specialness to me personally. And at this point in the game, I think that having, you know, exclusive variant editions of your favorite series is really cool to have in your collection. It makes it different and it kind of just shows that, you know, you really do love a series. But it looks like publishers and retailers especially are starting to catch on and realizing there is a whole lot of money to be made by milking these series and putting out a bunch of different variants, you know, just to have people double dip and buy these series that are fans of them. And uh, I think that this will only lead to a downward trend, not only because more people will be spending money on stuff they don't really even need, you know, obviously you can spend your money however you want, but I have to admit there's little value in owning, you know, a special edition when you already have the first volume. But I also foresee a lot of saturation in the variant manga market to the point where they just won't be special anymore and they may even be worse quality than they would be if you bought the normal volume like we've kind of seen with Tokyo Avengers Volume 1 from Barnes & Noble. So if all this being said, is this Books A Million Chainsaw Man Volume 1 through 4 box set a bad thing? No. If you're a fan of Chainsaw Man, you know, all the power to you, go right ahead and pick up this box set. But, you know, one can definitely foresee how manga box sets like this are going to lead to more and more blatant cash grabbing from retailers and publishers and how the saturation of exclusive and variant editions is going to make variants as a whole in manga a lot less special. But yeah, I kind of just wanted to make this video talking about the Chainsaw Man manga box set because I've seen a lot of controversy surrounding it in the manga community these past couple days ever since it was announced. So I thought I would share the news if you guys haven't heard and also start a discussion on what you think about the future of, you know, box sets like these and variant covers as we get more and more of them from manga retailers. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more manga views just like this. So yeah, this has been The Prom G. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And as always, hope to catch you in the next one.